Welcome to the Lustrin. Today I'm going to take you through the house as an instructional video to show you around, show you some quirks, and make sure that you have a great time while you're here. This is the August Smart Lock keypad. You're going to enter the code that I gave you, followed by the red button. Let's try it, but I'm not giving you my code. You'll wait a second and the door will automatically open. Come on in. This is the living room, a place where you'll probably be hanging out most of the time when you're not sleeping. Let's take a seat on the couch and get this TV working. There's two remotes you'll need to work the TV. First, hit the green button on the larger remote. This will turn the TV on. Then, grab the smaller remote, the Apple TV remote, and hit the menu button. That will turn on the Apple TV, which is the only device connected to this TV. There's no cable TV. You can watch live TV through some of the apps, like CBS or ABC. The most popular app we have is Netflix. You can navigate using this circle here by up, right, down, to the left, and you can click in the middle here as your select button. So we're going to hit left to get to Netflix and the circle to enter. From here, you'll go to already a member, sign in. Use your own account, that way you have access to all your history. To return to the list of available apps, hit the menu button. All right, now let's talk about the fireplace. When you take a look at the fireplace when you come in, you should see a small light. That's the pilot light, and we want that to stay on throughout the duration of your stay. So let me show you how to use the remote so that you can do, make that happen. The remote is here on the side table. So to turn on the fire, we're gonna hold down the up arrow button. You see that I had to hold that down for about 10 to 15 seconds. If I'd like it to be a little bit cooler, I'll hit the down arrow. You can see the fire recede just a little bit. Now, to turn the fire off, I'm going to hold the down button for about 10 to 15 seconds until I notice that all the flame has disappeared and all I see is the pilot light remaining. Do not use the power button or the set button. The power button turns off the pilot light, which we do not want. Please remember to place the remote back on the wooden table, not on the hot metal fireplace. Let's talk about lights. When you came in, right on your left, there was a switch here. The left up and down switch you will not need. The right one controls the dining room light. You can go up, down, or if you hit it all the way down, you'll hear a click and it turns off your dining room light. Let's turn it back on. The rest of the lamps in here can all be manually controlled from the lamp itself. There's three lamps that you can turn on each individually. This one has a pull chain underneath. And this one also has a switch. Great. Let's walk to the kitchen. In here you'll find a gas stove, toaster, coffee maker, water boiler, coffee and tea, a dishwasher, 
a refrigerator and all the utensils you could possibly need. I'm gonna open the drawers for you just so you can plan out your trip of what you might be needing while you're here. There's silverware and utensils. There's also pots and pans, plates, cups, and mugs. Most of the plates, cups, and mugs are kept here. All right, let's take a look at the gas stove to make sure we know how to turn that on. It should be in the off position. And to turn it on, you're gonna turn it to the high area to get the gas going and then back to light until it lights and then back to high. From there, you can control the height of the flame. You can go to low or high and anywhere in between. When you're all done, make sure to turn the oven off, the stove off by turning it all the way off. The oven is also available for use and has a control here, and you can choose the temperature that best suits your needs. Great. Let's take a look at this water boiler. This thing is great. It'll boil water in just a few minutes, but due to the electrical in the house, make sure that this stays up, straight up and down, which is the medium level of uh, boiling. It will boil your water just fine, but it'll prevent the house from tripping on the electric. We have sugar here, coffee, and it's coffee beans because this is a combined grinder and brewer. And there's instructions here on the wall, so make sure to read those very carefully. It is a multi-step process. There are knives available here for you for your cooking. Let's take a look at the fridge. It's a full-size fridge with lots of space so that you can make a grocery trip while you're here. That's a Brita water filter that you can use, but you can also drink the water from the tap here in Atlanta. This is the dispenser, but as you see, it's out of order. So for your ice, make sure that you open the freezer and use your, your glass or your hands to get this ice. New ice is made for every guest. All right, now we're gonna go out to the backyard, which is beautiful and I can't wait to show you. You're gonna turn this lock until it's vertical like it was shown here. Then pull the door. Let's see if we can find any squirrels or chipmunks today. There's lots of seating out here. really a beautiful place to sit. You're welcome to have up to two guests over that are not on your reservation. Past two guests, in addition to those on the reservation, we consider a party. So please respect this space and keep your guests to a minimum or tell us and we'll be happy to work with you for planning your party. All right, we'll go back in and take a look at the bedrooms and bathroom. Let me show you how to lock this back door. First, you're gonna close the lighter door. And then to close this door, you're gonna need to make sure that you push all the way, and then you can use this lock here. You might need to push again until it clicks and it's horizontal like that. Great, come with me to the bedrooms. I love the decorations in this house, all very true to the era of the house. Here you'll see lots of supplies that you may need. There's extra pillows, sheets, blankets, and other supplies. This is the bedroom. You have your own closet here behind the curtain with hangers and a shoe rack. The only lights that this switch controls, which is on your right when you walk into the room, are these two sconces. 
To control these, twist the bottom. Also, this is where you'll be blow drying your hair or using any other high powered electronics. There are no outlets in the bathroom. One other thing I'd like to show you is how these curtains work. While we don't have doors in this house, we do have curtains. So use the magnets provided to keep the curtains closed. Since the entire house is magnetic, because it's metal, we can use that as a trick. There are also magnets on the other side that you can use. Great. The other bedroom is also here, and the light switch is just here on the left when you come in. Let's check out the bathroom, our last stop on the tour. We have towels for you as well as amenities here, like lotion, Q-tips, earplugs, tissues. Extra towels are here. Extra toilet paper is here in this top drawer. And we also provide a first aid kit in case there's any boo-boos. Let me show you the shampoo and conditioner that is provided, also body wash. You should have everything you need in here, but if you don't, just reach out and we're happy to help. Thanks for coming on the tour with us today. And we hope that you have a great stay at the Lustrin. Enjoy.